Well, hello, hello, everybody. Yes, I am back for day number 16 on this amazing journey. I know you all are like, hey, can you feel the energy? I really want to know, can you feel the energy? Because I actually feel it on the inside. I feel it in everything that I do. I'm able to accomplish more. I'm able to go further. I am able to do so much more. And what an amazing day to be able to bring this message to you then today, which is National Women's Day, right? This is a day that we celebrate the accomplishments of women all over the world. And there are so many amazing, incredible women doing wonderful things, right? So I would just wonder, when you go through your positive affirmations. We talk about that because that's a part of inspiring and encouraging. But you know what one of the most powerful things is to hear your encouragement through your own voice. And that's why positive affirmations really help when you speak them out loud. You know, I am all about encouraging and inspiring, right? And I'm just so grateful to have a new tool. And that's why I'm sharing this journey too, just to let you know a little bit more not just for my own personal reasons, because it's really, really giving me the energy and enhancing my performance, not just for that, but because now I'm equipped with an additional tool in the wellness arena to be able to help us to even go further. And isn't that, you know, just absolutely incredible and amazing. Today being National Women's Day, I wanted to talk a little bit about one of the amazing women in history that has inspired me to you know, do more with my soothing salve product, right? And to even create a line, like you know, she did that in 1910. Yes, I'm talking about the amazing pioneer and entrepreneur and uh, philanthropist, Madam C.J. Walker, right? I talk about her quite often because I just, you know, I'm inspired. Look at all that she accomplished. She became a millionaire in 1910. I mean. How amazing, how great is that? She didn't have, you know, all of the different tools, the technologies. She didn't have the different platforms to spread the word about her business, but she was able to get in there. She was able to, you know, overcome every adversity, every hurdle that got in her way. She was able to barrel through it and create an amazing product line. I mean, Think about that. Think about how amazing that is. So that tells me that anything that we put our mind to doing, we are absolutely able to do it, you know, and I just I'm just I'm inspired by her. You know, it's a wonderful thing that she created. She helped women to not only not only see the beauty in themselves, but to actually spread that. And that's why community is so important. It's so important to be around people that are positive, that are like-minded, that are going in the same direction, that are so busy and they have this aspiration to do, to, to build, to grow. And therefore, when all of that energy connects in the same space, you can't help but do positive things. And that's why it's so important. And people don't understand energy. Energy is extremely important. The energy of those people that are around you help you to achieve that which you are purposed to achieve because we all have been put down here for a purpose. It can't just be to wake up, go to work, do some things, go back to sleep, start all over again, pay some bills. That, that can't be what life is all about. There is a greater, greater purpose. And in order to accomplish that purpose, you need to be around the right people. You know, so Madam C.J. Walker, she created a community of, of, of women that were very, 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 very powerful. You know, because when you know who you are and you're going in the right positive direction, following your purpose, you can't do anything but achieve. And that's what the Get Trauma Informed podcast is all about. One, it is about us coming together to understand awareness around trauma because, you know, so many of us have faced trauma, but a lot of oftentimes we, we, we swallow it. You know, we just, we bury it and we keep going. That's what we've been taught. We've been taught to shake it off, get back up and keep going. We haven't been taught to deal with it. We have not been taught to talk about it. We have not been taught to seek help. If we break our arm or, or run into something and we hurt ourselves or have some type of a you know accident or something, we, we go and we seek help, medical attention for it. But when something happens to us in a traumatic fashion, we don't always go and get help for it. And guess what happens? It stores in our cells. And when it stores in our cells, it, 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 it festers. 
it doesn't go away. It gets, it, it festers. And then here comes something else happens. And now that's another pile of trauma. Then you have another pile of trauma. Then you have another pile of trauma before you know it. You have depleted who you are truly intended to be because of all this trauma. And you're trying and trying and trying and you're pushing through it, but you're not getting anywhere because the trauma is still there. So the Get Trauma Informed podcast is not just for us to understand and become aware of trauma, but it's to get rid of the trauma discrimination and also the ignorance surrounding trauma. Because oftentimes people will find that you have you know, you've had your bout of trauma or something has happened to you or what have you, and they shun you, right? We're going to peel off the layers of that with experts that come on to help us to really understand what this is all about and to start getting some healing. You know, I was listening to a podcast and I know this is a little controversial, but I was listening to a podcast with um, Monique on yesterday and she said some very, very powerful things. She talked about trauma in the Black community, right? She talked about trauma not being resolved. And I thought that was really, really interesting. I think that there is a lot of ignorance surrounding the issue of trauma and understanding what it is. Did you know that, that you can even suffer trauma when you're, when there's a betrayal in a relationship or when, you know, things happen to you, unfortunately, like I talk about, you know, the accident that I was in. I talk about, you know, domestic violence. When a woman leaves and she's out of domestic violence, guess what? There's trauma there. And that trauma is stored in her cells. And sometimes people say, oh, you're just mad or you're just mean or you're just angry or you're just a lot of times that's pain. There's people trying to, to maneuver and trying to survive with all of this pain stored in their bodies. So I want to go back to my patch story, right? To my patch journey. One of the things that I love about when you start to, to regenerate and rejuvenate and you start to help yourself to perform better, we're peeling off those layers of trauma at a cellular level. Ooh. That's kind of deep right there, right? But it's so good. It's so good because it gives us the hope. It gives us the ability to now thrive instead of just survive. Do we even think about that? Have we even talked about that? There are so many discussions around that. You know, I talk to people every day and they're talking about things that have happened to them or trauma that's going on in the workplace, trauma that's going on in the churches, trauma that's going on. In the in the in the what I said, the workplace, the corporations, in the organizations, trauma all over the place. But we keep walking around like like we have these little horse blinders on, like it's not really there, but it is there. And so if we're not talking about it, if we're not resolving it, then we keep going day after day after day in the same muck, right? It's like trying to get out of quicksand, but you keep getting keep getting deeper and deeper and deeper in the quicksand. So how do we resolve it? How do we how do we live this, this energetic life? How do we live this, this life of recovery and realignment? I'm telling you, I love the holistic wellness arena. I love it because there are so many tools that we can use. You know, we talk about, you know, when trauma happens to you, that's just what happened. Trauma is not your fault. But guess what? Recovery is your responsibility. Think about that. Let that resonate. I'm going to say that again. Trauma is not your fault. However, recovery is your responsibility. And I'm here to tell you, there are so many tools and so many, so many, just so much available for us to help to recover, realign, and to finally thrive. So if you are, you know, you're ready to exhale, you're ready to say, hey, let me be honest. Let me be honest here. Let me look in a mirror. Let me not deal with other people right now. Let me look in a mirror. And if you have some stored trauma, you know, there is a way to work through it. There is a way to realign and recover. And I am so excited on this National Women's Day to be able to bring you that information and let you know that's what the Trauma Informed Podcast is going to be about. We're going to bring real solutions and we're going to uncover this. We're going to, you know, somebody used to tell me a long time ago, you, you know, you, you, you uncover stuff. And, 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 you know, stuff's supposed to be covered up. You know, you're not supposed to tell what goes on in your family. You're not supposed to, you know, um, you're supposed to keep it and you're supposed to. Why? That's unhealthy. That's not healthy. It's healthy to 
understand it, to become aware of it, to reach your hand out and say, hey, there's some things that I need to know. There's some things that I need to I need to get get right. Right. And so here we are. So Trauma Informed Podcast is going to be amazing. And I just can't wait to get started. I can't wait to for the community as it's growing now. It's already growing. People are reaching out. I can't wait for it to become that go to place to say, you know what? Over there, they're not playing. They are helping people to really recover, helping people to restore themselves to who they are intended to be. And people are really walking out their purpose. Look at that successful person. Look at that successful person. Look at her over there. Look at that mother over there that's that's doing so much better, juggling her children because she worked on her trauma. Look at this breaking generational curses over here. Look at this growing up strong, healthy people. Oh my gosh. That is the vision for the trauma-informed podcast, the trauma-informed community, right? So it's not just a launch of a new podcast, y'all. It's the formation of a community with real resources. Look, look at my light, guys. <laughs> I'm excited, right? And yes, this is a part of the community. And I say that my pain was not in vain. You know why? My pain wasn't in vain because my pain, my voice was meant to reach out and help somebody else to show you what is possible. And y'all, I'm still on the journey. That's why I'm sharing it with you. So I think that's all for today. But I just wanted to celebrate all of the empowering women out there. And for the men that celebrate the empowering women that are champions for us, I thank you so much. I appreciate you and I thank you so much. But you know what, y'all? We are just getting started because you haven't seen anything yet. And like I said before, if you don't have a lot of light, hmm, come on over here. We'll give you some of our light. All righty. I think that's it for today. Like, share, and subscribe. Share this information for, with somebody else. Share this information with somebody else, y'all. I'm so excited. What y'all gonna do with me? I don't even know what I'm gonna do with me. <laughs> Alrighty, bye for now.